there! In this video, we are going to learn about the various steps involved in DNA replication process. Let's have a quick recap of the DNA structure. DNA has a double helical structure. The side rails are made up of phosphate and ribose sugar molecule. The rungs are made up of nitrogenous bases. There are four nitrogenous bases. Adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. Adenine always pairs with thymine and are joined by hydrogen double bond. Guanine pairs with cytosine and are joined by triple hydrogen bond. So, adenine and thymine form a complementary base. Guanine and cytosine form another set of complementary base. We know that a nucleotide is the building block of DNA. It is made up of a phosphate molecule, a deoxyribose pentose sugar, and a nitrogenous base. This pentose sugar is an organic compound in which there are five carbon atoms. The third carbon atom forms the three prime end and the fifth carbon is known as the five prime end. The directionality of DNA as well as the replication process is specified in terms of these ends. That said, let's have a look at the replication process. DNA replication is an enzyme-catalyzed biological process to produce an exact replica of the DNA molecule. Many enzymes, proteins, and RNA take part in this process. It happens at the synthesis stage of interface, just before cell division. It is often referred as semi-conservative replication as a part of the old DNA is retained. DNA replication has three steps initiation, replication, and termination. Enzyme helicase will unwind the DNA by breaking the hydrogen bonds between the bases. This unwinding process starts at the origin. Origin is a particular sequence in the DNA where the replication process is initiated. You can see that when the DNA unwinds, the structure resembles a fork known as the replication fork. The strands of DNA formed will act as a template for the synthesis of new DNA strands and are known as leading strand template and lagging strand template. Once the helicase starts to unwind the DNA, a small fragment of single strand RNA known as primer is attached to the leading and lagging strand templates. Primer initiates the replication process. Another enzyme, DNA polymerase, then adds nucleotides with complementary bases to the three prime end of the new strand. The strand in which the replication is in the same direction as the formation of fork is known as the leading strand. Here only one primer is attached and the replication process is continuous. The strand in which the replication is in the opposite direction as a formation of fork is called lagging strand. Here multiple primers are attached and the replication process is discontinuous. As you can see in the lagging strand, new segments formed are in fragments and are called Okasaki fragments, named after the scientist who discovered it in 1960s. DNA polymerase adds the nucleotides with complementary bases to the three prime end of the strand. In addition, they also do error checking. If a wrong nucleotide is added, it gets removed and the correct one replaces it. Please note that this enzyme can't initiate the process but can only extend or elongate an existing strand and hence the primer is needed. When elongation is complete, primers are removed 
and caps due to primers and Okasaki fragments are filled by DNA ligase enzyme. Now to terminate the replication, there is another sequence in the DNA. Once the replication fork reaches the sequence, a protein binds to it and stops the process. So that's a brief about DNA replication process. If you find this video useful, do like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.